Hey guys, so I'm so excited. I have gotten a lot of my stuff from the Nordstrom sale that I ordered online <clears throat> the night of the, that it opened for like ambassador shopping. So I finally have been getting, it's been trickling in. Like I got two big huge boxes and then some things kind of like here and there. So I wanted to do a little try on haul with some of the things that I've gotten. I've got some hits and I've got some misses. So I'm going to start out with the denim. I had a big denim fail this year, unfortunately. I got a lot of... I bought a lot of Good American and I love that brand and I typically love the fit and stuff. I love the style. I wanted everything to work so much. But take a look at this skirt that I got. It's Denim skirts are all the rage this year. They're, they were in last year. They're going to be in for 2020, fall of 2024 and I think into 2025. So, and I don't have like a long midi denim skirt yet. So I tried this one from Good American and I kind of, it, di it didn't work. It was too big, too long for sure. I mean, it looked like Morticia. So, but the material on their, their clothes are just so awesome. I loved it so much, but it was just a hard no for me. Cause even if I got it altered, like I could get a free alteration with my Nordstrom card. The slit would be too short and it would still make me kind of walk funny. So the skirt was a no. The slim jeans were not a good fit. I just, they, I, they were too tight for me. And I think that if I sized up, the crotch would be too long. So the light denim, that was a no for me. And then the boyfriend jeans, I can't remember the name. So the good 90s relaxed are what I got. And they're super nice. I really love the color. The blue is just such a pretty blue. Um, they were $106 for $105.99 anniversary, $159 regular. I got the size two or 26. They're just way too big. I may see if I can get a, a zero and try it out. I think they were sold out though. But so these are gonna go back and then I was talking to you about the denim skirt. It was called, let's see, it was $125 anniversary, $179 regular. I got a size two and really nice very long very long very long so anyway so these are going back indigo 599 is the color of these i mean gorgeous colors and the material is oh, divine and then the slim jeans i was talking about are the good classic and they're nice and white i love the seams in them i love the detail on the bottom but I just, I, I know myself well enough to know that I like my jeans a little bit baggier and I wouldn't wear them. So it's kind of funny because the, I got twos and everything. These were too tight for me. The skirt and the baggy jeans were too big. So yeah. Okay. Those are the denim fails, but I did get a pair of AG the AG denim was a, is a score. The AG denim Mary jeans. I got a size 26 and I love the color. I love the fit. I love the frayed hem on the bottom. Super comfy. On the website, it did say if you were between sizes to size up, which is not normal for AG. Normally, my other AGs that I have are 25s. So I was really surprised when it said to size up. So I'm actually glad I did. They're um, fitted, but not too tight. And you know, I like to always, like typically I size up in my jeans anyway. So to wear a slimmer jean, cause I guess not like skinny jeans per se, like the skin tight ones, like the leggings that I have on right now that you'll see. Um, but these will be good with boots. So speaking of boots, I will show you the outfit that I have on now. This, the shirt that I have on is the Rails Leopard shirt. I got a size medium and I'll show you. I have on the Spanx leggings. 
If you can get your hands on them, get them. I got them a couple years ago, if not last year, the year before. Love, love, love the Spanx leggings. They are tried and true. You'll wear them with everything. So if you can get your hands on those, get those. This shirt is awesome. I love the print. I love the leopards. I always size up in my rail shirts. This is a medium because I like it to be a little bit bigger. You can see I styled it with, sorry, my son's cat just rubbed against my legs. He's so sweet. Um, so you can see I styled it with a Zara blazer, oversized blazer that I got last year and the Blondo waterproof boots that I got. I think, unfortunately, they're sold out because there was a little mark. I'll show you a picture. There's a little mark on mine, What I, and it, there was a little mark on mine, and I noticed it as soon as I took them out of the box. And so I took a picture, and I went online to see if they still had them in my size so I could just exchange them, and they were sold out. So I'm gonna keep them because I love them, but, um, yeah, so I styled them with the oversized blazer, this shirt, and the Spanx leggings. Love that outfit to go shopping. I also styled it with the Rag and Bone sneakers. So I know that the New Balance sneakers were all the rage. I got a pair for my son's girlfriend, and I actually got her size. I was so happy it all worked out. But I bought the Rag and Bones for myself, and let me find them. I love the Rag and Bone because they have the black sole. The New Balance have that tan sole, and I know myself well enough to know that I, I won't wear that very much. But if I can style it with like black, and these Rag and Bone sneakers are gorgeous, and um, they fit true to size, super comfortable. I'll be wearing these all season. I think the outfit that you saw me wear um, with the, the sneakers. So these Rag & Bone sneakers are ortholite too, so they're super comfortable. I can't wait to wear these this season. I did get size eight, they're true to size. Um, love, love, love these. On the same line of sneakers, I did get these Adidas Gazelles. They're gorgeous sneakers. But when I was trying to find something to style them with for you for this video, I couldn't really find anything that I liked with this color. It's so, it's like a peachy nude. I don't know. I think I'm going to take these back because if I'm really having a hard time finding things to work with this color. I think I would have liked the brown because I have some brown sweaters from last year that I got in the sale. The Free People brown and another one that I got. And I think if I could get these in the brown color, I would keep them, but I think they're sold out. But these are gonna go back, I'm pretty sure. They're gorgeous. For me, they fit true to size. I've heard some people were saying size down. I got my true size eight. I do wear socks with my sneakers, um, but these are, they're awesome, they're comfortable, they're gorgeous. I just don't have anything that I can style them with. So these are going to go back. Um, what else? Uh, I got the On Cloud sneakers I showed you guys before. Love these, true to size, love the color, love the pink sole, everything is amazing. I got the Ugg uh, Cosettes. Love these, super comfy. I think this color is sold out, but they do have other colors, so definitely um, get your hands on those. With the Veronica Beard blazer, I styled the blazer with just a cami halogen tank that I got last year in the sale, the Blondo waterproof boots, and this gorgeous coach bag. It's a Nordstrom exclusive, but I love everything about it. It's so pretty. Let me get it open for you. Let me show you the inside. It's got some pockets. It's got a little outside pocket here. It does have a little pocket on the back so you can slip your cell phone in here. It has, um, it doesn't have any feet, but it does have a little accordion on the bottom. And it um, just has this little clasp. 
but I love the chain detail and I think it's just, oh, my hair's attached to it. Can you see that? <laughs> but I love this. I think this is, if you can get your hands on this one, this one is going to be um, much used in my fall wardrobe this year. I styled the Vince little white sweater. I love that. It's so perfect. I started with a pair of jeans. I'll be wearing it with the jeans, rag and bone sneakers. That is definitely a keeper. The Vince navy blue sweater that I got. I It's so soft and cozy and I love everything about it. Um, and you can see I, I just tried it on with some jeans. And I, honestly, when I first tried it on, I thought, I don't know, but I tried to get a J. Crew, what kind of like a t-shirt cashmere J. Crew sweater last year, and it sold out. I couldn't get it. I waited and waited and waited. This one is navy. It's beautiful. It's so soft. So I think I'm actually going to keep it. It was, let's see, it says $2.45. I don't remember what I paid for it because it doesn't have the sale. Um the sale anniversary tag on it, but I got a size medium and I do believe I am going to keep it because I tried to get one last year and I couldn't. So I'm going to keep this one. The, the white vents with the collar, definitely keeping that one. The free people sweater. Oh, this is so dreamy. I love it. Now, you know how I am with my neck and turtlenecks and stuff like that. The way the neck on this is, it doesn't touch my neck. It's got a little, almost like a cowl neck, but not really. It's hard to explain, but you can, I'll show you it when I style it. You can tuck it under or out, but it doesn't, doesn't fit tight to your neck. So this is a definite keeper if you can get your hands on this. I got a size small. It is very, very oversized, so if you want it to fit a little bit. Um, more snug or a little bit more fitted, so I definitely size down. Um, this I want. This is the obviously the cream color. They have a couple of different colors. I was looking at the blue one that looked so so pretty, um, but it was sold out in the size small. But this is definitely a keeper. I bought one pair of sunglasses in the sale and they're Fendi. Fendi always does such a lovely job. I got a pair of Fendi sunglasses last year and I didn't really try them on or try to style them for several months. I did a little a video about them um, but when I did try, I looked I tried them on and I looked like an alien and I did not like them and ended up returning them like five months later and Nordstrom is amazing. I had the box and everything, but they're amazing taking the return. But these are so fun. These are the blue palladium. I don't have anything like them, but I thought they were so cool. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the little Fendi in the, in the lens here. But they're very cute. They have the little Fendi on the bat, on the arm of the glasses. They do have the nose pieces, but I thought these were super fun. I don't have any silver glasses. And yeah, I like these. These are definitely keepers. Okay, the knee high boots that I got. These are amazing. They're Mark Fisher. I got true size medium. They're so pretty. I styled them with the Farm Rio dress that I showed you in my previous video. And I thought it was just the cutest outfit. Definitely a wear now, maybe in a couple months better with the boots, but um, just, I thought it was so cute styled with that Farm Rio since that Farm Rio was smaller. Now, to talk about the Farm Rio dress for a second, it, the belt on that was a little bit big on me and I probably could have used, I got a size small, I probably could have used an extra small, but I feel like if I would have gone extra small, it would have been too short. So I do think I'm gonna take that Farm Rio dress back because I know myself well enough to know that's gonna be a one hit wonder for me. It's got such a pattern on it that I won't wear it more than once. And 
I want something that I can wear over and over again. And I know with that dress, it'll be like kind of like on one outfit kind of a deal. It is adorable and it's super cute. And if it, you have an event that you need to go to, I highly recommend it. But it's just, it's not gonna stay in my wardrobe this year. These boots are staying. They're amazing. And you can style these so many different ways. Um, the other pair of boots I got are these little sock booties, super cute. A little higher than a kitten heel, but very comfortable. A little nod to the Western trend because it's got this little detail on the side, on the toe. Um, these are Dolce Vita and I got my true size eight. They're so comfortable. I know that I will be getting a lot of use out of these this season also. And last but certainly not least, I got these Ugg booties in black with the lime green, I think it's called lemon lime detail here. This is Velcroed on. I didn't know that, but this Velcro is on so you can take this whole little strap off if you wanted, um, which I thought was super cute. I didn't even notice that, but these are definitely staying. They're super comfortable. I don't have any Ugg boots. My uh, original pair has been worn to they've seen their, a better day so these short ones are super cute i'm gonna wear, keep these for sure something that's going back another fail for this um sale is this belt it's the nordstrom leather belt unfortunately i got a size medium and it is just too big but it is beautiful if, if you're looking for a belt this size this width it's really pretty quality made. The stitching is beautiful. And it I just, I really wish it could, I could fit in it. Um, I could put an extra hole in it, but it's very, very long. So I would have to cut off this and then it would be, yeah, I just, I can't adjust this and I can't add extra holes because the belt would be too long, but it's beautiful. Uh, but unfortunately this is going back and it's sold out. So I can't get, find the small. So that is unfortunate, but. And then also another pair of shoes. Also going back, which was a, was a fail for me, were these Nike sneakers. I thought they would be kind of cute and comfy with this big heel here. These are the Art Air 7Cs. And I got a eight and a half. I believe it said to size up. They're beautiful sneakers, but I tried them on and something about the way with this heel, it makes my toe hit the end and I don't run, I only walk. So I'm gonna use the on cloud sneakers, these sneakers instead. Um, I was kind of tr trying to decide between the two. So I'm gonna take the Nikes back and hang on to the on clouds because I know that these work for me. These are gorgeous sneakers though, if that's something you are in the market for. I got two black dresses this year. One is the Sam Edelman. It's a black, what's the name of this? It's a really cute, um, it's called a shirt dress. It was $138 regular. I don't remember what it was on in the sale. I'll leave it um, down below in the description box what the sale price was. But it is really cute. It has lots of nice detail on the sleeve with the buttons, it's got the opal, you know, that uh, pearly button here. And I love this, it fits like a glove. So it was between this Sam Edelman shirt dress and then a French Connection kind of wrap sweater dress. This is gorgeous and it feels like butter. It's so pretty. And it was $75.99, it goes to $118 after sale, French Connection. I got a size small, and it fits really well. I really like it, but it I only need one black dress and I know myself well enough. It fits really well, and I love the style of it, but I only need one black dress and a sweater dress for me. Um, I won't get as much wear out of it as I will the shirt dress from Sam Edelman. So I'm gonna keep the Sam Edelman dress and take the French Connection 
um, wrap dress back. It is, it's really cute though. If you're looking in the market for a sweater dress, it's very flattering on many, many figure types. Just because of the A-line of the skirt, it's very cute. And I think you could wear it with sneakers or boots or even dress it up with heels. But um, I'm gonna hang on to the Sam Edelman shirt dress because you can do the same thing with that one. So the Notori bras, this lilac color, so pretty. And I love the detail. So it's almost got a demi cup and then it has the lace on the top, on the triangle top, and then lace on the back sides. It's very pretty. And I think I showed you this one before. This is more of a gray color. It's showing up. It's, it's, I thought it was gonna be navy, but it's more of like a gray color. It's very pretty though, it's a t-shirt bra. And then this one, I love the straps on this nude bra. Very pretty, so if you're gonna have your straps peeking out, that I thought that was really pretty, but I needed a new bra and it's t-shirt, it's lightly lined, it's it's lovely. Um, and then the PJs that I got, oh, they're so soft. They're the Nordstrom brand PJs and I love this beautiful, I don't know why, I have, I'm having lavender. I don't know, I've had a lavender thing for my intimates lately. But um, I got the size small, they're super comfortable. I can't wait to wear these, these are wear all season. Um, but I love the little piping on the sleeves. I bought the long sleeve long pants. I know there are several different, you can get short sleeve short pants, short sleeve long pants, long sleeve short pants. I got long sleeve long pants because that's how I roll. But super comfortable, love these, definitely worth it if you can get your hands on them. This blank NYC denim Sherpa vest. It's so cute and so soft. I love it so much. I'll show it for you styled here. I styled it a couple of different ways. It's it's not attached here, so it almost looks like um, a denim vest on top of a Sherpa vest, but it is attached because the back is only Sherpa. It's so cute. Now, Avec Lafie had a denim Sherpa vest also, and I had it in my cart. It was significantly more expensive. This one was, I believe, $59.99. Did I take the tag off already? I believe it was $59.99 in the sale, and the Avec Lafie one was like over $100. This is so cute, though. I can't wear it. It's, so it's so soft and cozy. It was $60, $59.99 um, during the sale. It goes to $88 after the sale. I did get a size small. It's significantly oversized. Oh, I get? oh no, oh, I got a medium. Okay, so I did get a size medium in this. Um, so it is significantly oversized. I like big and baggy. I just love this so much. I know I'm gonna get so much wear with this just throwing it on over leggings, running to the gym or just staying warm and um, and I also got another jacket, and I had seen this when I went in the store, and I looked at it, touched it, felt it, and thought, I ordered an Avec Lafie one already. I had ordered it the night before I went in the store. So I thought, no, I'm not gonna get it. And then I saw it styled on someone, and I thought, that's really good. So I got this, and it is so beautiful. It's like a little teddy coat. It's so gorgeous. I did get a size medium in this. I probably could have used a size small. I do like to wear sweaters underneath these jackets and stuff like that. I do like this stuff a little bit oversized. If I were to do it again, I'd probably get a small. It's a faux fur, Sam Edelman, and I'm trying to find. It's 220 after the sale. I know that's not what I paid for it during the sale, but I think I took the tag of, off it off of it already. But I love the fact that it has snaps and a zip. So you can see the cute little snaps and then it also does have a zipper here. This is gonna get a lot of wear also in my wardrobe this year and I believe, I haven't got the Avec Lafie one in yet, but I believe I'll be returning that because I don't need two of these, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of attached to this one already and I haven't even seen the other one yet. So that is definitely staying all of the makeup that I got, I think I showed you in my video before, 
One thing I wanted to, um, to tell you about, the Joe Malone diffusers. I bought three of them. And if you watch my previous video, you know I was gonna kind of separate them and use them as gifts. They, you can't really separate them because they don't come in individual boxes. But um, I opened one box and I have one up over in my little reading area. The throw is not doing it for me. I can't smell it at all, at all. And I've turned the reeds upside down like three times. I can smell it on my fingers, but it's not giving, it's not throwing the scent. Like some of the other ones that I've had that I bought from Jo Malone and they're very fragrant and they have a nice throw and they, you walk into a room and it doesn't overwhelm you, but you know it's there. This one I can't smell at all. So I am going to keep the one I opened obviously, but I'm gonna return the other two because I don't wanna give them as gifts if they're not working for me. So just kinda keep that in mind with those. Um, maybe I just got a fluky one, I don't know, but because I normally love, love, love Jo Malone stuff and it's just, I can't, I can't smell it. So those are gonna go back. I haven't tried the new lash yet, um, so to be continued on that. Obviously, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Air Setting Spray, the Oribe Shampoo re Retexturing Spray, all that stuff I've used. I know it's awesome, definitely worth it. The Trish McAvoy Makeup Set. I have the eyeshadow on now, and also this lip color is from the Trish McAvoy um, that set that I got. Beautiful. It is the the eye palette alone. Obviously, it's not worth two hundred seventy five dollars, but the eye palette is awesome. I love it. I love the colors. They're rich. They're they go on well. This lip color, this lipstick is really pretty. I love it. The lip liner, I love it. Um, I haven't used a lot of the other stuff in that set yet. I need to do a little bit more experimenting with that. I don't really use like. You know, I kind of have my tried and trues of like my eyeshadow primer and stuff like that. So it's a lot of duplicate things that I'll use once some of my other things are used up. I'll try the Trish McAvoy ones. And to report back to you then, Thick, the only problem I noticed with the lip gloss is the, the little suction piece came out a couple of times, so you have to pull it down out of the cap. Otherwise you get like this whole wand full of lip gloss. So, um, you just have to push it back down and now it, it hasn't, I haven't had any problems with it since. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Nordstrom anniversary sale, try on haul and, uh, hits and fails that I found this season. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're shopping for, what you thought of the sale. And also please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Bye.